Doug MPA back with another video. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button on the way in. I'd really appreciate it. It shows that you support me and the content on this channel. I came across this video. It's called Men's Scared of Working with Women Post M2 Could Be Breaking the Law. And this is another video about how men have responded to the M2 movement in the middle of the 2010s, 2015, 2016. Now, we all know what the M2 movement was. You know, it was about women being harassed, all sorts of different bad behaviors, and then the men perpetuating that those behaviors being brought to justice. I honestly believe that, that was a small minority of men. I operate over here that the majority of women in the U.S. are good women and the majority of men in the United States are good men because society couldn't exist if that wasn't the truth. The problem was it kind of gave women a whole lot of power in the court of public opinion because we all know that if certain things are said, you don't even get your day in court before you, you get punished as a man. So we're going to watch this video to see what these two have to say about why men have reacted badly to the M2 movement. Because men are just avoiding women now. They're saying, I'm not going to go to meetings with women. I'm not going to mentor women. I'm not going to be in, you know, I'm going to have my door open. If I have a meeting with a woman, I'm not doing happy hours. None of that. And that's what I recommend. Guys, don't hang out with women at work. Don't do it because she's going to bring up some statistics that may give you this secure, warm feeling, but you don't want to be that one because your whole career can go down with tubes. Once again, the biggest problem with the M2 movement is it puts you out in the, the court of public. You get tried and convicted in the court of public opinion before you even get your day in court. So let's start this video. There's been some backlash about Me Too and some anxiety, as you might imagine. Many, many male managers and owners um, are feeling a little bit more tentative when working with and, and managing their female workers. As they should. A large percentage of male managers were concerned about working with women one-on-one -on -one in the workplace. They were concerned about mentoring women. They were saying they were afraid to have meetings with women, to travel with women, and so on. It indicates Now, look at that list. Mentoring, traveling, etc. You have to do all those things making while making your female coworker quote unquote feel safe or feeling that you're doing the right thing. So as a man, you, you have to take that extra burden on because once again, the M2 movement opened up just women being able to put you out in the court of public opinion. Why take on that extra burden? Why? No, don't do it, guys. Kate, that there are anxieties and fears that we need to address. And in the case of men being worried about false accusations of sexual harassment, that may not be based in reality. Oh, really? See, here we go. She has these stats that'll make you feel all warm and fuzzy, watch. The FBI, for example, has produced research that shows that only 2% of sexual assault claims turn out to be false. And that's actually no higher than any other type of crime. So men may be panicking over something that really isn't supported by the data that we have. Once again, she completely dismisses the core of public opinion. It's only a small percentage of men that do this kind of stuff a very small percentage but the problem is is women are operating like this is gonna happen to them in the workplace and some women can feel that that happened that something happened when it didn't and once again if women would just wait for your, their their day in court but they go to social media they do all these things and you're screwed as a guide do once i'm just saying this multiple times i'm saying it again just avoid it all together and in fact, organizations where women are mentored and treated well and able to be promoted to positions of authority actually tend to outperform those where they don't. I think all guys. And then we have this guy, Mr. Super Simp here. Here we go. Know how to behave when you're with a female. Apparently you don't because you're part of this video. A worker. Oh, but I guarantee you this Mark group teaches classes or does all sorts of left-wing 
consulting on this type of stuff. So that's why he's saying this on this video. Uh, you talk about business. You keep things professional. There's a clear line about what your behavior should be. And in fact, the behavior that you have around female workers really shouldn't be any different than the behavior that you have around male workers. Yeah, guys. So learn how to behave because it's, it's all your fault. It's your behavior that's ruining the workplace. Nobody else's. Come on. And I say this to my fellow guys that are running businesses or managing people. Uh, you know, wake up. You know, it's 2020. You, you know how to behave. The shaming language. See, and that's one of the biggest problems with these issues. All they have is shaming language. Wake up. Why are you still not doing this, guys? It's all guys' fault. You guys are still scumbags. Why are you still scumbags? Ugh. Hey, this should be no different than when you're going out with a workmate as well, regardless of age. If you're avoiding working with a potential female colleague just because she's female and just because you're concerned about how your behavior might be, you not only hurt yourself, but you're hurting your organization as well. No, it's you're concerned about how your behavior will be interpreted. And if there's... If you're not on the same page, you may think that you've been perfectly civil, but something could come up. And once again, she puts your actions or what she perceived happen in the court of public opinion and you lose. Well, even worse than that, they may be venturing into the area of unlawful activity, because if you're refusing to have meetings, for example, with women because they are women, that's getting into violations of the law. You have to treat employees equally, uh, no matter what their gender or their race or their sex is. The backlash doesn't mean that the goals of Me Too are wrong. It just means... Uh, really? So, guys, you, you have to look up for you because no one else will. That's what this boils down to. And you have to err on, on the side of caution. You have to err on the side of caution and do what's best for you. That we're dealing with some very entrenched social and cultural attitudes that it's gonna take some time to unpack. Only six states actually have mandatory sexual harassment training protocols uh, for companies and organizations. Really, we have not gone far enough and we're just beginning to untangle some of the legal structures that have made it very difficult for people to report sexual harassment, uh, things like non-disclosure agreements or forced arbitration. It's gonna take some time to get a new legal framework. If women make progress on Me Too, it's going to make the workplace feel like a safer and more respectful and productive environment for everybody. Yeah, but for who really though? Because, guys, once again, women don't care about your problems. They just don't, especially in the workplace. This is the last thing I'm going to say it, guys. You have to be careful. You have to err on the side of caution. Because if there's any kind of allegation, anything that has to do in the, the realm of this M2 stuff, you lose automatically. You lose. The stakes are too high. And... If they've made the stakes lower, if they could accept the fact that most men are good men, because that's the thing about it. This whole movement assumed that all men are bad. If you believe all women, it means all men are bad. Sorry, men, we have to respond and we have to take care of ourselves. So that's the end. I work from home, so I don't have to worry about this, and I'm glad. And guys, be vigilant and make sure that you keep yourself away from any anything like this happening to you. That's your only action. Make sure to comment on what you think about this video below. Like and subscribe, and I'm out of here.